This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2001 Ford F350, regular cab with a utility bed, obviously. It uh, has 96,147 actual miles. It's a V10, 6.8 liter V10 gas truck with two wheel drive. It's an automatic, it's a strippy. All it has is, a, is an AM FM radio and an automatic. Everything else, doesn't have. Um, this is a work truck. Came from California, it was a theft recovery. We bought it directly from an insurance company on a salvage title. This is exactly what it looked like, except it was full of trash and it was disgusting. And now it's been very sanitized and now it's not disgusting because I'm OCD like that. Anyway, uh, on a salvage title because of theft, not collision. Basically, the attorneys for the insurance company do not want the insurance company they represent being sued by whoever buys it from us. So if they sold it on a clear title to us, we sold it to you on a clear title and something happened, you might be able to go back to the insurance company. It's basically liability. They don't want it. So they sell it on a salvage title. Um, once we get in the truck, I'll explain to you how you uh, fix the salvage title. And uh, it's pretty easy. Okay. Um, runs and drives great. We took it to Monsoon Automotive, our shop here. Um, all the invoices and everything will be in the file uh, online. You could click on everything that I'm talking about here. We replaced the cool coolant tank in antifreeze. Uh, the shift tube with plunger assembly, the leakage was off for probably when they towed it. Uh, the cops towed it when they found it. Uh, brake fluid flush, uh, power steering fluid flush, and wiper blades. And then we sent it to detail. Um, they damaged that back door on the work truck. This is a work truck, so I'm like, the next guy who buys this thing is probably gonna be able to fix it better than I did. I just got it to close. Um, I always recommend putting those bars in front of the doors. Those bars that are up against the building right there are for another work truck that we have at uh, Monsoon right now. And they basically slide through a little assembly in front of the doors, and that discourages uh, theft. Um, I would do that if I were you on this truck because those handles, they always try to break them and it's not even worth trying. But when they see those bars, they stay away. Anyway, um, had some uh, name on the side of it here. Might want to put your name or a sticker or something on it. Um, we did have to replace this door handle. That ignition was broken and I'm still waiting on the driver door handle. Um, that'll be here shortly, I think. We'll have it probably in, in there today. But have no fear, it will be installed and it will match the keys will match all right my brother will take uh, probably 50 or 60 uh, HD photos of this thing let's see I gotta open this thing first and let's see if I can get it there it is you see this lever right here you gotta open that up to do this right that's that Boom. It's got a single rear wheel, one ton, which is kind of nice. See how they broke out the locks and everything? These things don't work on anyone, so I suggest doing that bar thing. Basically, they put like little, uh, what is it called? Um, oh, like a, like a tube right here on each end, and they slide the bar through. Right, right across the top and it keeps from breaking in. All right, so then you got, you got this. All right, and this thing slides back. If I can make it slide back. Like that, see? There you go. Um, tailgate comes down. Bum, bum, bum. Let's go like this. Let's see. I think that this goes, I don't know, whatever. It goes like something. This is the one that got dinged up the most. It took a while for us to mash it back in and get it to close. But whoever buys this is probably gonna be a mechanical, I would assume, and won't have a problem with this at all. The price of this thing is going to be incredibly low um, for a low mile truck. Let me see, I better open this up too. There you go. So you got the same thing as on the other side. Um, because of the, uh, it's going to be incredibly low because of the mileage and because of the title. But you don't drive the, you don't drive the title. 
and my, low mileage is good regardless of what's going on, right? 96,172 miles. Go into the hood here real quick. We're gonna go on a trip down I-10 here in a second. Hopefully I've got enough time to get on I-10 and traffic's not too bad so you can show you driving. Ford stamp here, original fender. Ford stamp here, stickers where they go. New coolant bottle and coolant, right? There's your uh, stickers where they go. Let's see. Huh. This fender has been replaced at some point. All right, this is part of my job. I'm not gonna tell you what you wanna hear. I'm gonna tell you what's going on. New battery, at some point this fender was replaced because there's no Ford stamp. I don't see a Ford stamp here. And there's a Ford stamp here. So this fender at some point has been replaced and we got some overspray here, so there you go. Not much to report here. Glove yeah. box, blah, blah, blah. This thing was filthy, by the way. Oh my God. Not anymore. It's been sanitized. It's been washed like nine times. Because <laughs> of my OCD-ness. Uh, let's see. All right, here's Monsoon's. Uh, this will be in the ad. You can click on it. There's the uh, truck. There's the VIN. Check shifter. Uh, recovery tank, that's the coolant tank. Uh, shift tube, blah, blah, blah. Brake fluid, flush. And other side, let's see. Other side, now we're getting a breeze here, huh? Power steering flush, wiper blades. Okay. Locksmith, we did uh, ignition and door, but we still are waiting on the driver door handle and lock cylinder. Here's a new battery and the core. Uh, ba -ba -ba. This is the receipt that for the shift tube. This is from Monsoon. They give us all the receipts that they pay for too. Um, here's the Carfax brand title salvage. That's due to theft, which I will show you. All right, born in Long Beach. Reported stolen 702 of 20. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's see, recovered 7-3 of 20. And there's your uh, monsoon at 96147. There's all the stuff that was done. Okay, so that's that. Let's get in there and go for a ride. Usually I've got all kinds of bells and whistles to, to show you in these things, but not today. This is a work truck. <laughs> and this is basic as you're gonna get. You got a fan. Got a fan, that's good. And it blows really hard. That looks fine. Uh, radio. And of COVID-19, use that. What's that? Oh, that FM. And, and beware. Let's see, overdrive off and on, right? Windshield wipers, perfect. Headlights, I know they work because they inspected it for it. Doesn't have tilt, doesn't have cruise. Just a truck, does have the backup, right? Let me move it up here, we'll demo reverse here. I've driven this thing across town a couple times, it runs great. There's reverse, okay? All right, let's go for a ride. All right, this truck is sold on a salvage title. If you're going to drive it home, wherever you're going, uh, we have to take it to the cops to get what's called a restored salvage title. Uh, they do a level three inspection. Once we have that inspection done, uh, they do, uh, they give us what's called a restored salvage title. At that point, we can issue you plates and you can get uh, uh, insurance. So that's mandatory. That's $200 to do that. Then we have taxes. Taxes are your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7%. And we have a dock fee of $250. So if you come here to drive it home, you'll pay your state tax plus our city of 2.7%. Uh, you'll pay a $250 dock fee and you'll pay $200 to restore the title. Now, if you're gonna pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is a crude upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing. But let us know um, at the time you buy it if you want us to restore the title before it, uh, the truck ships out and we'll take it down to Motor Vehicle and get the title restored. That will add $200, okay? Um, this thing runs great, really great. Actually, a really smooth ride too. Um, 
what else? Uh, bu -bu -bu. If you need help with shipping, let me know early in the transaction. Obviously, the earlier I know you need help, the faster you get your truck. Um, you're welcome to do it yourself. Um, if you do want to do it with us, uh, we can roll the price of the shipping into the into the uh, price of the vehicle. So you just pay one time for shipping and the truck. Uh, if you just want a phone number to call, we can give you some phone numbers. We have uh, many customers who buy multiple cars. We just had a guy this morning buy his third truck with us at Kyle in San Diego's on 13. And they figured out how to buy vehicles from us, <coughs> pay for them, and ship them out before we know they're sold. <laughs> they're pretty good. So it's not that hard once you know how to do it. And I know a lot of people nowadays know how to ship themselves. So fire away if you'd like. Um, let's see, what else? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Deposit. Deposit's $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until we have a deposit, we'll stay for sale. Okay? Um, last part of every video, I say the same thing, and I will this time, uh, like I have for the last thou two or 3,000 vehicles in the last 12 years. We don't have salesmen. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a fancy location that we pay a high rent for. Uh, our uncle owns our location. <coughs> Excuse me. We pay him a, a dollar a year. All right, so you're not paying for our, our location. You're not paying salesmen. You're not paying an attendant to serve scones and lattes in the lobby. We don't have a game room that you're paying for. We don't have fountains and beautiful roads. Our road out in front of our place is four wheel drive road. Looks like Peru, right? It's terrible. Um, because we don't have all that stuff, you pay less. The other thing that we don't have uh, that they have at, at, at the auto mall when they sell you this truck is uh, they know that when they sell it and something breaks, you're gonna come in and say, I just paid a fortune for this truck and blah, blah, blah is broken. And they say, well, good, we'll fix it. Because the other thing they include in the price of the truck when they sell it to you is five to $700 for future repairs. And if you never show up, they just made an extra five to 700 bucks. <laughs> um, we don't charge you five to $700 because we're not fixing your truck. You're saving a pound of money buying from us. And in this case, <clears throat> the title saving you money on the way we sell say, sells you money saves you money a um, lot of ways to save money here okay so please realize that uh, you're going to fix your truck when it breaks um, that being said it runs great there's no reason for it to break but you are the owner on day one and uh, here we go on I-10 and I wish I would have rolled the damn windows up <laughs> Uh, that's the problem with having manual windows, you know? Now I can't get over there and roll them. I guess I can roll this one down. Up, I mean. There, that one's up. All right. It's a little bit better. That was stupid. I knew I'm getting on I-10 and I don't roll the window up, and I'm doing a video. Hmm. That would not be my highest IQ move of the day. And I need fuel. Huh. Okay, well. At least the light, the fuel light just came on, so I guess we're okay. For a little while. Anyway, these videos can be 17 minutes and 38 seconds long. I'm not sure how YouTube figured that out or how that came to be. But I will just keep on going with this video until it's over so you can see it drive. I'm doing 70 right now. Looks to me like the like you could probably use some front tires on it. The rears look pretty good. The front tires look like they could use some replacement pretty soon.
13 minutes and 52 seconds. So we got about a uh, minute and a half to go.